Hello everyone, I am Shazmina Alvira Binti Shazmi from SK Jinkao. I'm in year 6 Zabba. Today, I'm going to talk about a book that I like reading. I totally enjoyed myself reading this book and I'm extremely excited to share it with everyone. My book's title is Sneaker the Brownie and Other Stories. It is a hard cover book. As you can see by the titles, it has 16 exciting stories which children my age would surely enjoy. Some of the stories are The Boy Wanted a Pet, Sneaker the Brownie, The Little Old Donkey, and The Great Big Fish. Just to name a few, it contains 192 pages and is published by Award Publications. It is written by Annie Beaton, or also known as Annie Mary Beaton. It is illustrated by Valerie Ineos and Brian Hosky. This book was written by one of my favorite authors, Annie Beaton, or also known as Annie Mary Beaton. She had sold more than 600 million copies. She was writing bestsellers since 1930s. Right now, she is in first place for the most translated author. Her books have been translated into 90 languages. She wrote on a lot of different topics like education, natural history, fantasy, and mystery. Her first book was Child Whispers. It was a collection of poems. She then went on to write some of her most famous books and series such as Adventures of the Wishing Chair, The Enchanted Wood, Naughty, Mallory Towers, Famous Five, and Secret Seven. She was also active in charities for animals and children. This book has 16 interesting short stories in it as I said earlier. All the stories are good, but my favorite is The Boy Who Wanted a Pet. The main character in this story is a boy named Harry. He did not have any siblings, and so he was lonely. He kept on asking his mom for pets, but she kept on refusing. One day, he decided to ask his mother again for a puppy. His mother refused again by saying that it would be noisy and dirty. He asked for a kitten, and his mom said that cats like to steal food and like to jump on the table. He asked for a rabbit and his mom said that that he would get tired of cleaning the hutch and that she would end up making rabbit pie. Harry thought she meant it and so he went off to his room. Harry was sad and so his mom asked him to play with his new toy cars and new toy garage in the garden. Harry brought out his old and new toy garage and his many toy cars. When it is time for lunch, he arranges all his toy cars and in the new toy garage and brings it in. After having lunch, he went to collect his old garage and there he, but he saw a robin flying near him and asked if it wanted some crumbs. He left his old garage beside the ship and went into the house to get some crumbs for the robin. He forgot about the garage beside the ship. He remembered about it at night, and so he went out to bring it in. And there he met Beep and Bob. They were brownies, not the yummy brownies that you eat, but little household spirits that help people to do work secretly. They are famous in Scottish folklore. They were using his old garage to park their tiny cars in it. The robin had told them Harry being kind. Harry decided to give his old garage for use. Bib and Bob were very happy. I find that Harry's character is a very good, kind-hearted, and obedient boy. He is also lonely but finally gets a companion that makes him happy with his mother's approval as Frisky was easy to take care of as he did not live in the house. This story has good moral values as it shows Harry being an obedient voice and listening to his mom. 
It also shows him being kind-hearted in helping the robin and the brownies without expecting anything in return. All the stories in this book has very good moral values in it as it shows kindness and honesty is the right path to follow in life even when facing difficulties. In my opinion, this book is a gem of freedom. I can also relate to this story, it's it all about children roughly my age. It is a happy book that any student would love it. It combines reality and a touch of magic in a nice and neat package called Sneaker the Brownie and other stories. With this, I thank you.